Hello, my name is Daryl, and this is my lovely wife, Faith. And together we pastor Spirit Church in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Way back in 1991, I heard this phrase from a missionary. Unless you're giving 100%, you're not really living by faith. That seed planted deep down in my heart. In 2014, our church was dreaming about touching another percentage of our city for Jesus. That dream was so big that we would need a new facility. We would ask our congregation to go all in with us in 100% obedience to the Spirit's leading. Daryl and I knew God was calling us to something big. It would be a miracle journey of faith. We informed our church that our all-in commitment would be to live by 100% faith. We would not take a salary for an entire year. We got our house ready to sell. Faith learned to make our own laundry detergent and bread and, and a lot of other things. Our garden was actually a great blessing that year from heaven. Strangers showed up at our door with groceries. We experienced hundreds of miracles as God taught us to walk by faith. We truly were walking by faith. At the end of that year, we were rejoicing. However, our church encountered several roadblocks with the new building. I was frustrated. The Lord whispered to me, what if you stayed on this journey, Daryl, but didn't tell anyone this year? How could I do that? At least people were praying for us. In Deuteronomy 8.2, God revealed that He tested the Israelites in the wilderness to know what was on their hearts. God just wanted to see what was on our hearts, and God proved Himself faithful once again. God called us to step out of the boat. My whole family walked on water. We kept our eyes on Jesus, and His provision carried us. Our marathon journey of faith lasted 777 days. And that same week of our faith journey, it ended. Equipment came out on the construction site, and our property that was for sale for many years had sold. Praise the Lord. For two years, my family walked on water. We'll never forget it. But this year, I heard the Lord say, run. I didn't know what that meant. I just started running. I've never been a runner, but I've committed to run a marathon. I'm simply going on a journey that symbolizes the dream God placed on our church's heart. And I can't wait to cross the finish line, physically and spiritually. Would you help Daryl get to the finish line by completing a commitment card? Would you partner with us? We need a miracle to finish our building. We've been meeting in a gymnasium for over three years. We need a new facility. Would you go all in, step out of your boat? I, I promise God will be faithful. In recent days, we have seen people saved, mm. called to missions, healed and set free. We can see the finish line of this all-in dream coming true. Would you help in one of three ways? First, would you pray for me? I need your prayers. Second, would you consider sponsoring me per mile in this marathon? And third, would you share this with four friends and ask them to pray for a crazy pastor and his wife who have big dreams for their church? Thank you so much for coming on this journey with prayers and with your support. We love each and every one of you and we pray God's blessings over you.